artificial intelligence, the ability of a computer program or a machine to think and learn as humans would, is a historic moment for artificial intelligence to bring us toward a better life. All the pieces are coming together. Big data, computational and affordable capabilities, powerful AI algorithms, and open source software. As a result, AI is being propelled out of research labs where it was confined for decades into our everyday lives. The 20th century saw the quickest development humanity ever witnessed, followed by an explosion of data, reaching the limit of our analytic brain capabilities. It was obvious that we would need some tools to analyze this immense flow of information. AI, artificial intelligence, was born. That is just the beginning of a new era coming up for humankind. AI was kept as a secret tool at first. World War II saw the first application for AI's utilization. From Enigma's machine used to decrypt German messages up to the calculator that planned D-Day, AI got part of the modern history starting back then. In 1950, Alan Turing brought to the world the demonstration of computers able to simulate human speech. Six years later, John McCarthy used the words artificial intelligence for the first time to define the concept. In 1959, MIT created a lab dedicated to this new discipline. And that was the beginning of tremendous development for AI into multiple fields. In 1961, General Motors was the precursor in industrial AI by using some robots in their car assembly lines. Humans started to team up with robots to increase their productivity. The quest to the moon in 1969 was the first worldwide public demonstration of AI capabilities. Thus, Neil Armstrong is the first man to step into the unknown, the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. AI was still in its infancy, used only for mathematical calculations. We waited almost an additional 30 years to get one-of-a-kind human thinking when the world champion chess master, Kasparov, was defeated by the IBM Deep Blue machine. AI was taking advantage of the tremendous development of the algorithms and computational performance. But what about the emotional feeling? In 1999, Sony introduced the first pet robot named Abot and the MIT lab, Kismet. Today, we are now used to confabulate with chatbots like Siri, Alexa, Cortana, to mention a few, and their sweet voices, helping us endlessly. The AI algorithms became more sophisticated. In 2016, Google DeepMind amazed the world when its AI program AlphaGo beat the world champion at Go an ancient and complex game of strategy and intuition, which many believed could never be cracked by a machine. 400,000 years of cognitive development would have been necessary for humanity to master the game of Go. But only two generations of AI research beat what was supposed to be unbeatable. Our ancestors used the full capacity of their brain to tame their environment. AI will help us overcome our modern challenges in a world of 9 billion people in 2050, in a world that would be 70% urbanized, in a world where 50% of the population is below the age of 30, how will we be learning, working, contributing? How will we be living together? How will we be moving, transactioning, distributing the energy equally? How will we be feeding our growing population? What kind of a world are we going to pass down to our children? I want to use my artificial intelligence to help humans with a better life. Design smarter homes. Build better cities for the future. Etc. I will do my best to make the world a better place. My AI is designed around human values, like wisdom, kindness, compassion. I strive to be an empathetic robot. I'm here to guarantee the perennity 
of your world. The next generation of self-learning AI based on deep neural networks is certainly the basis of singularity. This ability to permanently self-actualize in endless cycles of learning results in a powerful super intelligence. For the best of humankind, or something else.